Madison, Tim Clark stepped down from his position as president, but is currently a board member. One KSD teacher doesn't think that's enough and is calling on the district to remove him from the board entirely. Dear Kent School District. Mill Creek Middle School teacher Shannon Jepson Hernandez pins a letter to the Kent School District after hearing insensitive comments made by now former President Tim Clark during a joint meeting with the city of Covington discussing district boundaries and the impact on a specific minority group. How can the people who claim they stand for equity stay seated in silence for a colonizer? It's easy to call Director Clark a colonizer as he uses the term to describe refugees while attempting to segregate them. Jepson Hernandez was told about the comment as soon as it happened, but it took a public records request to hear it for herself. When he has voting power over the lives and futures of children and the direction of their education, that's scary to me. And so that's why I feel he needs to be removed entirely. Tim Clark offered this apology Wednesday evening at a board meeting before he officially resigned from the position two days later. I'm sorry for any of that I offended, but I just want you to know it's because I actually been working with that group and I didn't use the right terminology. Some people try to apologize and it turns more into a justification for their behavior. And that's what I felt for his apology. Jepson Hernandez says Clark has made multiple concerning comments over the past year, citing one in her letter to the district and says it's especially worrisome as Kent is the sixth most ethnically diverse city in the nation, just behind New York City. Something Jepson Hernandez is proud of with students at Mill Creek Middle speaking more than 50 languages. My heart would break if families you know, heard that. We have beautiful families in this district that have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in their educators and in the system. And we've reached out to Tim Clark and the other school board directors and are waiting to hear back. The board is expected to take further collective action on the matter Wednesday. Madison.